this is Janetta. And girl, I can't remember what the name of this place I am in, but it's, it's outside of Arusha. So I'm going to let Daniel, isn't it good looking? I'm going to let Daniel tell me exactly where we are located right now because, hey, this is a treasure place and I want you to know that Arusha has something special, that, that Leah has something special, and you just can't make miss it. So if you're scratching your head and wondering, you watch this video because we got some good news for you. Hey, Daniel, would you please tell him where am I right now? Well... You are in Arusha, right? Yeah, yeah. And this village is known as Patandi Village. And Say that again. It's known as Patandi Village. Oh, it's known as Patandi Village. You hear that lady how he says that? Okay, it's known as Patandi Village. Uh -huh. And uh, it's located at Tungeru, near Tungeru Market. Uh -huh. So it's uh, half a kilometer uh, from the Arusha Moshi Road. Ah. So he's in Tangero. Yeah, the city is in Tangero. Oh, is there anything special about Tangero other than you being here? <laughs> <laughs> well, other than me being here, there are a lot of things that are special around here. Well, one of it being one of the biggest markets around Arusha. Uh-huh. Known. And uh, also, we are having a school, a secondary school, uh -huh. for people who are disabled which uh, they are one, I can't think of any other school, but the only one that helps uh, ordinary level students uh -huh. who are deaf or disabled in any way, and they can get a uh, normal education just like any other. So that's one thing that's special about Tengero. All right, what if that student blind like me? Yeah, yes, <laughs> they do take care of students. Like okay, that. okay. <laughs> because I'm telling you, a lot of people think that if you can't see, you can't do nothing. Oh, but you can. You can. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can. Now, Daniel, mm -hmm. I, you know, the person that's really special and, and just a gem mm -hmm. is your mother. Yeah. Okay, yes. would you do me a favor? Yes, I would. And, and introduce your mother. <laughs> the favor, the pleasure is all mine. Okay. Well, so in Tengeru, you will find a mama. Most of them know this mama is Mama Shuja Wachakula. Well, I know her as my mother, uh -huh. uh, the co-founder of Elinuru Foundation. Eleanor Foundation. Yes, Eleanor uh -huh. Foundation. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, and a good herbalist. Uh -huh. And uh, most of all, she's a good, kind, hearted human being I've ever known that really seeks to help the community in different ways to prosper and making sure that they move from one level that they are in to a better one with an open heart. All right. That sounds like a, now, Eleanor. <laughs> it's you. Can you aware well, I me? Mean, that's very special. That's very special. And let me. You told me that your mother was Maasai. Yeah. And your father was Maru. Yeah. So you uh, have both tribes in you, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. And so the knowledge that you have, I, I've been telling people that it's Maasai medicine. Mm -hmm. A Maasai ability because everybody hears about the Maasai mm. and their medicines and things like that. Tell us about yourself, Ellen, and, and just just talk to us about how you've been gifted, very special, with the ability to uh, n knowledge of herbs and things like that. Tell, let us know. Thank you, Mama. Oh, my name is Elinor. Uh -huh. I'm a woman. I've been married. I have five. Children, Ooh. but I have many children on my house. I do with organic vegetable and uh -huh. herbs. I prepare medicine for many type of many, not all, but many type of problem. Uh -huh. I I help people to be at the, from zero to three. Five to more is you to depend. You can use medicine. You can you can. 
you can follow what I am telling you. So from zero to three is me. Oh. Five to more is you. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, she's saying to you mm -hmm. that uh, I'm I'm I'm, talk, I'm gonna help I'm gonna help you talk about how wonderful you are. Yeah. <laughs> she's saying to you that she's been able to help people, yeah. not only with her medicines but mm -hmm. also uh, with the foods. It's yeah. a health thing. Mm -hmm. It's just not you come and get some medicine, but she's all around lady organic mm. and which is very very important mm. and you should know that see yes in africa we do things organic mm. so you know mm. uh the, and it's exciting to me because her knowledge of what she's saying she's saying that the medicines that she prepare that have helped many people they you don't have to worry about your high blood pressure medicine or your heart medicine mm. or any of the medicines you're taking uh being a problem with them because they, they don't affect those kind of things. They're very, very natural and very good for you. I'm taking some. <laughs> yes. And then right next to you yeah. is a very special lady. Thank you. Yeah, your daughter. Uh -huh. And would you introduce your daughter to me? What's your daughter's name? My daughter's name, my first born is Mesa, but it's, the second one is Diana Old. Nagelini Masai ne, ne, name, another name was Nageli. Nageli. Yeah. All right, I love those Masai names. Nageli. Yes. Yeah. So, Diana, yes. what part do you play in this fans, this great organization? Uh, I help in organizing activities and as well as advice on the business. And we co work with Daniel in planning and implementing the activities that we are doing in the schools and that we will be doing in the future. Now, you have many people that come and visit you uh, uh, here. Yes. Uh, and uh, I mean, from all parts of the world. Uh, your mom was telling us about that. Can you tell us about some of those people? She mentioned some queen from Saudi Arabia or. From you know, and the she UK, the G7, and oh, this lady's been around. <laughs> yeah, so yes. yes, so there are a lot of people interested in what she's doing. Yes, yes very interesting. And like I was telling you, that's one mistake we make sometimes is that we have things that we've been blessed with, and we want to give them away. And yeah, that's good to give them away, but some people take them, and they make money from them. So I was telling you, you know, that it is very good to get people that are wanting to help grow your business to where it you really is, uh, where you're not only, you can get money, but you can also give money. You can expand on it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's just something uh, generational that it can be prepare, prepared for going down from one generation to the other generation to the other generation to the other generation. Can you catch that vision? Mm. Oh yeah, that's what we have to do. Now ladies, I'm gonna wrap up because there's so many things that I could talk to you about. Eleonora, the, 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 the school, the fact that she has some people from Germany or the UK coming over here, asking her questions, looking at her garden, how she does things. She's just a quiet lady that has a big name, not only here in her community, but in other places throughout the world. So I'm telling you, the Europeans know about her, and the Arabs know about her, but do you know about her in the diaspora? Do you know about her in the United States of America? Do you know about her in Jamaica? Do you know about her in Haiti? Do you know about her? This is what's here in our home continent, Africa. So I want you to know there's all kinds of reasons that you want to come over or that you want to get to meet people like Daniel. Oh, he's good looking. Like Daniel. You want to get to meet people like Daniel. And you want to get to meet people like El Nuro. And you want to meet people like Diana. They have a business over here and it's wonderful and it's thriving and it's just great. The vision 
help us promote the vision. Now, Daniel, mm -hmm. you all, because you are a nonprofit organization right now, right? Yes. Yes, but you all do, uh, you do accept help or support of volunteers that might come or whatever. So let them know what your website is. We do accept volunteers. Mm -hmm. We do accept support from different angles that are in line with our objectives yes. and our goals. Uh -huh. And uh, you can just look at us through the normal platforms and social networks. At least for now, we are there. But mostly, we can be found on the social medias such as Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Normally, just the normal contact. Okay, now, since you're going to be on YouTube, mm -hmm. you tell them how to get in contact. What is your name there? Where to explain to them uh, so they can make sure they look you up. <laughs> well, be glad to follow us on Instagram as Elinuru Foundation. Okay, Elinuru Foundation. Yes. All righty. Yes. Now, do they have, do you have a... What's the app number if they want to call you? Well, if you want to call us, the app number is uh, 0787. Oh, start with the 255. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. pardon because me. you're calling from out of the United This is not next door neighbors call you. <laughs> we're, we're looking at this world call you. So it's 255 for yes, Tanzania. So with our contact numbers, you will find us with a plus 255 787. Uh, 577-213. All right, all right. Or else, if that's not reachable, then you can turn on to plus 255-685-084815. All right. Now, girls, you're calling about the business. You ain't talking call about Daniel. Woo! <laughs> ah, yeah. But health is very important. Mm. Wealth is secondary. Because if you don't have your health, wealth means nothing at all. And this is a place, Tanzania, since I've been here, the ability to eat food that tastes like food, to eat food, whether it's meat or whether it's vegetables or whether it's fruit that hasn't been cloned or DNA changed, this is a place to be. And your first start off should be right here at Eleanor's. It should be here. Now, you know Daniel mentioned the fact that you help handicap people. You help, you help train handicapped children. Yes. And I know we have somebody out there that probably retired or stopped and wants something to do. Come on over. Come on over and lend a helping hand. And I'm very, I'm very sure that they will accept a helping hand. I'm very, very sure of that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're yeah, okay. Yeah. So it is done. It is done. We're going to do it. So I'm going to tell you something. Girls, if you want to talk to Dan, you got to get to me first. <laughs> so you got to subscribe mm -hmm. and tell me that you like this video and you want to see more about wonderful Tanzania. Yeah. See you later.